comes home from the hogs pen. Now this is my nephew, he's not a prodigal, but he is pretty dirty, right? Now the father runs to the prodigal and gives him a hug. Now notice he didn't have a wash bucket here. Notice that he didn't wash him down first to accept him, but he's gonna accept him. Yeah, I'm about ready to hug him. The prodigal came to the father. The father loved the prodigal, hugged him, kissed him. I won't kiss you. Okay. you <laughs> right? But look, the father was not dirty. The father was clean that day. So how are you going to hug something so dirty, so filthy, so nasty? And not just mm -hmm. that. He said, go get the best robe. Now, in the Jewish customs, the best robe was the father's robe. Now, if I had a clean robe, again, clove, he, he clothed us with righteousness. He put on a new garment on something. So why would you want, why, why would you, right? Are you wondering the same thing, right? Why would I want to put something new on you? You looking like that, right? Because God does an inward work. Now the father loved him, fell on his chest and kissed him. Now look, and I love this shirt. Put the other arm around me. I love this shirt, and he just got it so dirty, and I know he's laughing. I know he's laughing. Now let go of me. Look, now if we can't do this for those that's out there hurting, that's been to the hog's pen in our prodigals, then, you know, we're missing the whole thing of the gospel, guys. So we love on them. We love them. Just as much as he got me dirty, that's okay because the Father did it, and that's how we show love and compassion. Amen.